He's a good puppy. He's a good puppy. Hey, look. Hi. Hi. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got the old Mongo Man here. It's Sunday. I don't know, about 2 o'clock. And it's still raining. Oh, I'm so sick of this rain. If you got to see the short earlier this week, you saw that uh, we did go through the January thaw. And everything, and I do mean everything, is soaking wet. We've had probably another inch of rain uh, today, last night, and boy, is it a mess. But I didn't put a video up yet because, well, I've been kind of scattered all over the place here this week. And I guess I'll give you a real quick rundown of why I didn't put a video up and what's been going on. We'll start here in my shop. <clears throat> So my daughter and wife are both coaches for the Winter Guard team here in Avella, and they needed a prop made, so, well, who's going to make it except good old dad, right? So what it's going to be is it's going to be the Black Pearl. Their show is called The Savages, so it's going to be all about pirates, and they wanted a pirate ship. So this is what I've come up with so far. If you notice, it's all the uh, angle iron that I cut up off of those racking a while back. And then, of course, there's uh, some 5 8 conduit on it. Some casters that I got from Hobo Freight. And then the plank, it's going to go out that side, is actually the uh, Hallmaster ramps. That's the plank right there, actually. So, yeah, this is what it looks like so far. I was going to do a whole build video on it, but I figured you guys would be bored to death with something like that. So I just figured I'd show you what, what it was and what I've been doing. It does roll around real nice. And the idea is, obviously it's way too big to haul like this, so it's gotta be broken down. All of the conduit will come right off, it's just on 5.8 bolts. Anyway, you get the idea, it's all on 5.8 bolts there. Just stuck on. And then that'll be covered in a, uh, a photo background that looks like black wood. The back I'm gonna put quarter inch uh, plywood on it, make it look real good. And then the bottom will get three quarter inch plywood in it and there'll be a helm up front and the uh the mast in the back so yeah that's what's kept me busy over here i've got three nights into this and uh really just been hammering away at it three nights and one day because i did come over here yesterday and work on it pretty much all day of course george's truck kind of had to uh, leave it alone till i got this done and Look at the water on the floor. Yes, it's been raining. It has not stopped raining. So I think I better get a couple pieces of wood for that, huh? All right, so like I said, that took about two nights, uh, three nights this week. So what did I do the rest of the time? Well, let's go over to KJ's shop and I can show you. Absolute miserable out here with this rain. We couldn't move Callie right now if we wanted to. She would sink in a heartbeat. You can see here the driveway is starting to get mudded up. So earlier in the week, I did post a video of us out back here playing and what we were doing What? I said that's tight. Um. Oh, wow. 
it's like right at the edge. Well, this one isn't as tall as these, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it is. Come on, Terry, get the cap on there. Eh, it was close. What you doing up there, son? This is one of those situations where I'm going to tell you guys to uh, not do the stupid stuff that we do because, uh, well, it's not the safest. We're trained professionals. We're trained professionals, and this is, uh, this is not the, first time we've ever done. the first time that we've done this. That doesn't make it right, but it does make it done. I was installing that. Yeah, that's right. KJ's wood stove is installed. So I put it on the side of the building just like I did mine. That's uh, two by six womanized lumber screwed to the building. And then you can see the uprights there are screwed to that. The bracket is bolted directly to that. The thimble is through the wall. This first piece is a used piece that KJ found somewhere. Second piece is a used piece. And that top piece is a brand new piece. Uh, two clamps holding it to the wall. And then a little 18 foot section up top with the cap on it. Really nice. You can see there that used piece, uh, well, let's just say it's, it's a little oblong. Yeah, so this, uh, this actually took two nights to get this all going. Now let's go inside and check out what, uh, what's going on in there. There's old Smokey sitting right next to Clifford. KJ's got big plans for this truck. I think he's going to end up buying it off of the customer that it's here for. And then uh, he wants to, wants to put a standard transmission in it and make it a really nice truck, which it can be. It's just going to take a little bit of elbow grease and uh, money. And we're still planning on doing Clifford. He's just sitting there waiting in his turn. Yeah, look at this mess. I need to get lots of stone back here. I did have lots of stone in here before, but when we built the building, I had to steal it all so that I could get the building up to elevation. Buggy's got a flat tire. There's Aggie. It's dark in here. There's Laney. George has been overworking on Laney, but I haven't given him a, been able to uh, help him out. He's got the cab and everything just about ready to go. I'll have to double check and uh, go over it with him, make sure everything's good. There's a little bit of rust on this cab corner that we're gonna have to do something with. The other cab corner looks really bad. <clears throat> they did get this spring mount in. Looks really nice. As you can see, the frame's all been painted. Looks good. George is moving right along here. Friday night after work, I come home and Kenny calls me. He says, Dad, are you home yet? I says, yeah, I'm home. What's up? He says, well, I think I just lost a dry shaft out of Henry. And lo and behold, sure enough, he did. There it lays. The ears are all spread wide open. So that was uh, a major problem that he's working on. That's the whole dry shaft there. He was supposed to go get one today, but the gentleman that uh, has it decided that because it was raining, he wasn't going to mess with it. And here's the inside. So KJ's already got a bunch of stuff sitting on it, and the blower motor has already gone bad down there so I've got to get a blower motor for it but as you can see it's all installed and we have had a fire in it already you can see there we have had a fire in it it's gonna need a rope yep that rope's coming out I'll have to order one
So yeah, it was a busy week, but like I said, we really didn't get a whole lot done on Laney, but uh, we got a bunch of other little stuff done. Got uh, the Black Pearl is very close to being completed. Uh, we got KJ's wood stove in, but the blower went bad, so now I got to change the blower. And uh, he lost the dry shaft on Henry, so he's in the middle of uh, putting that back together. But in the meantime, uh, plenty going on, so we do appreciate you guys stopping by and checking us out. Just uh, kind of all over the place this week. Didn't have one specific thing that we did, but a bunch of little stuff. So, All right, that's all I have for you. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully next week we'll be back on Laney and uh, we'll get you guys some good video there. All right, the old Mongol Man's out of here.